okay so it's a round neck thing so in this round then i'm going to show you people how to do um the neck um the shoulder and the armpits yeah so round neck so we're going to need our scissors our tape and our chalk so we we'll make sure you're going to follow in all the next or anything you're going to do make sure you're going to follow from the um bended side and not for the um and not the side that has a, a what's it called flip so we're going to get our shoulder if your shoulder is by 14 it's 14 inches you're going to divide by two so i'm dividing by two this is how to use your tape for to divide so you divide by two and then you get 14. if there's not a clip around this is how to use your tape to divide very sharp very fast hmm? so i chopped my seven and then inside that stuff that's where you're going to get your neck so now i'm going to get my neck width which is four inches basically yes with um necks out there 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 the width are basically four almost or not all necks so and then we're going to get uh, our length is four so you box it up yes you can do six you can do five depending but then four is the basic so now the next thing to do is to if you don't have a french curve uh, okay now we're going to do the shoulder so we're going to get the shoulder so um because the person are making this clothes for you going to it depends on the uh, the, the the bigness or the smallness of the person if you're doing for a small person use seven and eight seven if you have sleeve if you ha if a clothes that doesn't have sleeve eight for a clothes that have sleeve and you can do eight and nine for a mid person with sleeve and without sleeve yeah and then for somebody that is big maybe from um um um, post 40 you can do 9 and 10 9 for sleeveless and 10 for with sleeve okay so now i am doing this now i've gotten the the the, the, the sleeve that i want i'm doing without a uh, sleeve so now i'm going to do my french carving and also one and then cover it out so this is how to cover it out and then i'm going to do my one inches two and then i'll cover it out so this is how to cover the neck um side out so the next thing is the shoulder you're going to slant the shoulder you're going to start from less than to greater than that's how to do it there's no actual measurement to do it no just slant it from the neck is going to be less than to the shoulder is going to be greater than so now i cut my neck this is how to cut your neck so i'm cutting and then i slant my shoulder you have to slant your shoulder in any clothes you're doing almost all the clothes you're going to do in some together sleeves you slant and then in some you don't so i'm slanting my shoulder and then now i'm doing my um uh, what's it called my armpit i just got my armpit so this is it so what i did here is called um circled or curved neck yeah so um, i'm going to to write it out first of all and then i'll do the the arrow mark so lengthwise i'm going to do the lengthwise and then the width wise so it's four inches lengthwise and then width wise is also four inches that's what i'm indicating here so this is it so when you open it, it's going to be eight yeah but then when you close it up it's going to be by four so i close it up now that's how you get by four 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 by four yes this is how to do your 